Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey YouTube, it's Midget iPhone Captain, and today we're going to be doing the top 20 City of Tweaks for 2014. So go ahead, kick back, get you some popcorn, and let's get started. The first one we're going to look at is called Better Power Down, and what this does is it adds the 7.1 style to your power down options, and I'm only going to show you this one here. You see, you get these three different things. You can actually customize it quite a bit. You can you can change it up to the iOS 6 style if you would prefer it, but I prefer the iOS 7.1 style. That's called Better Power Down. It's 99 cents and Big Boss. Next one is called Aki. This is a quick reply message tweak, and it's $3.99 in the Big Boss repo. And what you do is assign an activator, and anywhere I'm going to do double double well no let's do triple press Aki and now when I triple press I get my little message box and all I have to do is just type the contact name in there and once you type one letter it'll give you a list of different names that you have in your contacts you can actually send photos and you can do a number of different things you can Reply directly from the message. You don't have to open up the message app. There's just a whole lot with it guys. Check it out The next one is called OXO2. This is a multitasking app switcher tweak and it is $3.99 in Big Boss Repo and let's double press and we'll get our multi app switcher up and you see you got all these toggles up here at the top you can actually swipe through them if you want to move through some of those and then here at the bottom you can even move those toggles up and down you actually got a brightness control over here on the right on the left side you have a volume control right here and you have what's called hot corners and you do you can swipe up to invoke a quick launcher it's called and you can set up like six different tweaks or i'm sorry six different apps that it will open and you can also Swipe up from the bottom in the middle to invoke your app switcher. And the next one's called Spring Demise 3, and it's $2.99 in Big Boss Repo. What this one does is like 50 different tweaks in one. And we'll go in here and let you look at it. Spring Demise 3 right here. You can increase your animation speeds with this right here if you want to. Uh, let's turn them all the way down, and that should be as fast as they'll go. So custom speed needed to be turned on and you can it, you got the old TV Everybody wants to know what my animation is when I locked you see I get that little line across the center of the screen That's coming from spring demise 3 and you can change up your app sliders You can hide that you can hide different icons. You can you can customize folders lock screen uh Features. I mean, there's just so much in here and you can actually hide things in the status bar that you don't want to appear in there It's a huge tweak guys and one definitely worth checking out The next quick is called package backup. It's in big boss and I'm not really sure of the price I think it's like $8.99 or $9.99. I've had it so long when I bought it, it was only like six or seven dollars But now it's gone up a lot. It has its own icon and it's a standalone app call it an app call it a tweak whatever you want right here it is and what this does is it saves all your city of tweaks if you had to restore and put them all back on your device at one time without having to download every single tweak one at a time you know that would take probably hours if not even longer on some of the people's uh, devices that have so many tweaks Another way you can increase your speed is through iWeb Boost. This is a tweak right here. Here's the little icon. And what it does, you just simply turn it on. And once you turn it on, it increases the speed of things like Facebook, Safari, anything running on JavaScript, this thing. And it does work awesome, guys. Out of all of them on the, in the CD store, this is the one I prefer. Here's a tweak I use uh, every single day. It's called Speak Notification. It's $1.49. It's not very expensive. And it's in the big boss too. 
and you see right here you can have it speak applications all of them or you can select which ones you would don't want it to. you can turn it off for certain ones if you don't want it to read your iMessages you got all you'd have to do is turn that off and it wouldn't read your messages when they come in but personally I don't have anything that private so you know and you can set different hours of the day that it's quiet like I have it set from 11 o'clock at night to 7 or 8 in the morning it doesn't speak so that's a good thing and it's just got a lot that goes with it too guys definitely one you want to check out all right guys this one here we're looking at is called dock and it's 499 and it's in big boss too and what this does you can actually invoke this directly from the lock screen if you want to uh i got it set on the activator to, to triple press and you see you get this little two bar that pops up here and you can customize that to display any number of apps you want in any order you want as many as you want so i've got it set to, to show all of them that's running in the background and you can turn that on uh go in here to uh actually it has its own icon you go to dock right here and you can turn this on and off uh and you can customize your shortcut right here and you see you got six of them originally and you can add as many as you want and you can change the theme and all that but keep in mind guys this wouldn't be black but i have eclipse enabled i was going to show you it next and it's 99 cents too and what this does as you can see it keeps from blinding you in the dark if you're using your device everything that normally was white will be black it just flips the colors and it keeps you from having all that glare at night. It's definitely worth its weight in gold to me. I really enjoy the Eclipse. So I'm going to go ahead and, well, you got a couple things you can choose from originally. I'm going to go ahead and turn this back off. And hopefully we won't have to respring. We'll see. But the next one we're going to look at, guys, is Flag Paint. And it's 99 cents. And what this does is it paints the color of your notifications as they come in based on based on the color of the app icon the text message come in here it's green because our icons green if our icon was blue we'd be getting a blue flag paint then and I've got the uh, sound turned off so don't think nothing about that and that's called flag paint seven and it's 99 cents as well the next one we're going to look at is called pro widget and it's 299 and what it does is it gives you widgets to uh interact with if we go into the settings and go to pro widget here it comes with with several pre-installed and i've got the mail widget to come to open up on a triple press i've already got that set so let me show you what it is i'm talking about we're at the springboard, so if I decide I want to send a mail to someone, email, I triple press, and I get my email box popped up. All I have to do is fill in the information, send it on its way. Same, You can do the same thing with iMessage uh, or any of the widgets that, that you see here. Uh, like I said, it comes with several pre-installed for pro widgets right here. You can see what they are. Alarm, if you want you want to set a widget for an alarm to open up your browser, that would be a good one to have. Several different ones there, guys. Check it out. It's $2.99. The next tweak we're going to look at, guys, is called Color Keyboard for iOS 7. And you can get this for $1.99 in the Big Boss repo. And I've already got the settings pulled up here. And that's pretty much all I'm going to show you. You can choose from several different themes that's already installed. And if there's nothing in there you like, you can go to the theme gallery right here and actually download more themes from Cydia that you may prefer. And you, as you can see, I change everything quite dramatically. And when it goes into the portrait position, we ought to have a different keyboard. And you see we do. There's the pink and there is the other one, uh, just the regular but anyway, you get the gist of what it, how it works. Uh, it just takes a little tinkering with to get everything just exactly like you want it. Okay, guys, the next one we're looking at is called Vertex. 
And what this does is it just sort of changes up the way the control center works and the way it looks. You can customize it many, many different ways in here. You see you can blur the background. You can have a gray background. You can round the card corners. Uh, you can organize the section of the toggles to be different way, you know, different order. Uh, you can have brightness on top and volume if you'd rather have that. So let me show you what it is. So if we swipe up from the bottom, you see we get these toggles here at the bottom. Here's your media controls. And up here's the little cards they're talking about. You see the little corners of them are rounded. And guys, this is an awesome tweak. And you can get this. And it is in the Big Boss Repo for $1.49. So check it out. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website, portfolio, and online store. For a free trial and 10% off, visit squarespace.com and enter the offer code CAPTAIN at checkout. Squarespace has responsive designs, and that means that your site is going to look awesome across all devices, regardless of which one it is, the iPhone, the iPad, the iPod, a Mac, PC, it doesn't matter. They're going to be all awesome, and they have beautiful templates to choose from. You just simply choose your template, drag and drop the content, and you have your website created. If you have any problems, guys, they have 24-7 support through live chat and email, and they have plans that start as low as $8 a month and include a free domain name if you sign up for a year. And one thing I want to point out too, guys, is every site comes with an online store. Start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. When you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure to use the offer code CAPTAIN to get 10% off and to show your support for the iPhone Captain Show. We thank Squarespace for their support of iPhone Captain. Squarespace, a better web starts with your website. In Telescreen X7, this is in my, my repo. And if I'm not mistaken, guys, this is $9.99. Uh, but this is a has all the features you could ever want. As you can see here, uh, it's got your RSS feeds up here at the top. You got the time and date, weather. You got you can set it to have all of your mail, uh, any apps you want notifications for. You can have it right here, everything on your screen. All this can be customized to any way you want it to be to suit you, however you want it to be set up. That's going to be under the settings here. You go into the IntelliScreen X settings, and you'll see that there's a long list of things you can change. Here's your notification center, and you see the RSS reader. You can get, you can uh, include your Twitter in here. Here's the notification center. You can change the view, the today view. You can turn it on and off. You can include the phone messages. Here's everything that's included. And down here at the bottom is everything that's not included. Right down here, you see I only got four or five things, and I need a lot more down there and just to get everything working right. But, and Telescreen X, guys, is an awesome tweak and definitely one of my must-have tweaks. Okay, guys, this one is called Forecast, and this is a lock screen tweak. It puts the weather directly on your lock screen. You can see it's even animated. If you see in the background there, the clouds are sort of moving as you look at it. And you got your forecast in here at the bottom. And if you want your extended forecast, you just tap it. And it'll open up the forecast here and give you the extended forecast for today, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, looks like. So pretty awesome tweak. And it's 99 cents in my, my repo. App Tray. It's $1.50 in the Big Boss repo. And what App Tray does is it changes up the way that your lock screen works too. So let's go up here to App Tray. And you see right here we got it enabled. And I've got the tab label called Tweaks. And you can even turn the opacity up and down and you can choose which applications or system applications to have included in there. So if we drop down notification, you see up here at the top, I have some uh, applications included in there. And if I want to open one of them, I just tap it and it'll take me right to that. Very quick way to uh, interact with several different uh, applications on your device, set it up however you want to. And you can get that app tray for $1.50 in the big box. Okay, guys, this one is called Kuno. And you can get this one in the big box for $1.50.
And what this one does is it sort of changes the way the uh, notifications are colorized. It works a little bit like Flag Paint 70 we looked at a while ago. And I'm just sending something. And you see here, uh, it's greenish also. But you can reply by tapping the reply button is what makes this one even better. You know, to me than Flag Paint is you can just tap that little reply button and you're off on your way to reply back to the person that just texted you. So if we go down here to Kuno, you see you got some banners here. You can customize the different switches, the separators. You can hide the grabber, all sorts of different things in here. You can set up your profile colors, uh, which I've got it on default. If you want it to customize it, that's going to be left up to you. And that's called Kuno $1.50 in the Big Boss Repo. Okay, guys, Animer 7, this is another awesome tweak in the Big Boss Repo for $1.99. And what this does is it adds animation to anything and everything on your device, like notification banners, uh, your app switcher. Uh, let me show you how the app switcher looks now with this installed. You see how you just got that cool fade in and they drop down from the top. Well, you can change how that works. You can ch actually change the animation, the drop down, the whole nine yards. And you can add that animation to your notification banners and every, and uh, just the same. Right, go to Animer 7 here. you got notification banners. We're looking at multi-task uh, switcher here. So we'll go into the switcher. I got slide from top. We'll put slide from bottom. And let me show you how that looks. Now you see they come up from the bottom. Still works awesome. It just They come from different directions. And here you got zoom in and, and nothing. Uh, however, I do prefer, prefer the fade. And you can do the same thing with your banner notifications too. You can have them slide from the right, left, top, bottom, however you want them to come in. And they do look awesome, guys. Let me see if I can get one to come through for you. I'll send something silly here, so don't think it's... Uh, there it is. You see that one come from the bottom. And you can change that. And here again, to the reply, you can just tap the little reply button right there and you're off and on your way too. And that's pretty awesome. That's called Animer 7. And you can get it for $1.99 in Big Boss Repo. Okay, guys, this one is called Night Mode. And we already looked at Eclipse earlier. Uh, Night Mode lets you enable it with an activator. And I've got it to, to triple press the home. So when I triple press home button, you still get this little pop-up asking me if I would like to disable night mode and kill background applications. I'm going to hit no because I want to show you what it looks like in here. And you see how everything is black and this way it doesn't blind you in the dark. So if we want to go down here to night mode and look at some of the settings, you can actually set it for each application individually. If there's a particular application you don't want night mode enabled for, you can actually go in here to uh, pre-application settings and turn it on and off just by toggling the toggle on and off. So if we were to go down here to say settings and turn this off, now when we come back to night mode, the settings won't be, um, we'll have to kill them in the app switcher first, but if we just, uh, well now let's open it up and see if, see what I mean? Now you can uh, have the white glare in your face for settings, but I did that just for an example. And that's called Night Mode and it's 99 cents in Big Boss Repo. Another awesome tweak I wanna share with you is called Lock Your App. And if you've ever been afraid to leave your device laying around or anything like that, you don't have to worry about that using this application. You can set a password or any app or tweak on the device, you simply just have to set it up. And you see here, I've got it set for Cydia. And you just simply draw your password in. And when you draw it in here, it'll actually let you open it up. It's that easy. So you can configure it a million different ways, guys. It is a little pricey, but there's a free version of it. So you want to check it out for free first. And then, you know, maybe update to the premium version here uh, for $2.99. Check it out. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, let us know by giving us a thumbs up. We really work pretty hard for you. And as always, share it on Facebook and Twitter and keep coming back.